my name is Jana Kessler and this is my mentee Raven Taylor. I first met Raven when she signed up for the Take Stock of Children Mentoring and Scholarship Program in her sixth grade year. In her sixth grade year and we've been a mentor and mentee for that. She just graduated last night and we've been mentor and mentee for that long and now we're, now we're friends. Now we're friends. <laughs> we have been through a lot yes, we have. <laughs> over the past seven years. It's just somebody that you can sit and have a conversation with that isn't going to judge you because they're there to listen. They're there to guide you, but not sit there and say, oh, well, you shouldn't do that because this, this, and this. It's more of a, well, what's another route that you can take other than the one that you're on right now? The night that we got inducted, I was terrified because I was this little bitty sixth grader sitting in the back. We were, I'm pretty sure me and my grandparents were early that day. We were like really early and we were just sitting there and I was just anticipating the moment that I got called up and I was like, oh my gosh, this is about to happen. And I, I didn't know what to do with myself. And then by the time I'm at our very last meeting, I ran up there. I knew exactly what I was going to say. I just, I gained a lot of confidence in being able to speak in public, being able to say, hey, don't do this, don't do that. It has been worth every single moment that we sat <laughs> even, down together. Even, that, even the rough ones. Even the rough ones. It's That's worth why, it. It has definitely been worth it. So I would encourage anybody who wants to make a difference in the world um, to mentor. I'm Ivan Delacruz. Hi, and I'm Cornell Brock. I got involved in the program when Ivan was in the seventh grade. The most rewarding thing to me has been to firsthand get an opportunity to see a young man develop from a, an adolescent to basically an adult in four and a half years. They always ask me why I'm sitting with somebody that's so old all the time, but, <laughs> and just tell them that oh, he's my mentor and we're just talking about stuff. I have to be, try to stay relevant, try to stay tuned with what's going on in the school systems. We've talked about things like school shootings. We've talked about uh, things that are happening, and violence and, and, uh, and other, other things like that. He has a great family structure and not all of the kids in this program do. Uh, he's really lucky, great mom and dad, very supportive, always there for him doing what he needs done. Bottom line is, I got a lot more out of this program with him than he got out of me. My name is Destiny McLean, and I got involved in Bay Education Foundation in the sixth grade. Um, I actually like didn't know anything about it. My mom happened to see it in a newsletter and was like, hey, this seems like a great opportunity for you. And I was like, it does seem like a great opportunity. <laughs> so, you know, sure enough, I applied, um, got an email or a letter in the mail, and sure enough, I was a part of the program and have been in it ever all the way through my senior year. I actually just graduated a few days ago, which is pretty awesome. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Yeah. My name's Margaret Gamble, and I guess you could call me a legacy in this program. My parents have been mentors for years, so it's a family tradition to mentor students. I signed up the year that Destiny was accepted into the program, and we were paired up and have been together ever since. Yes. <laughs> ever since. The most rewarding thing, I think, is having somebody outside of your household to talk to, because, you know, you talk to friends and friends don't always give you the greatest advice so it is a good thing to have your mentor here another adult who can guide you in the right direction and give you great advice. I think for me the most rewarding aspect has just been able to become a friend to Destiny. Uh, Destiny is a very together with it young lady and so I'm not sure she really needed a whole lot of mentoring so to speak but I've really enjoyed spending the time with her, encouraging her, watching her grow and develop. Like she said, from sixth grade to 12th grade, she's a natural now when she gets up and speaks and, and that poise and confidence has just blossomed over these years. I've gotten the privilege to be able to watch this happen. I've never been a shy child per se or a timid child. So I was, I've always had this outgoing spirit, but I 
do feel like you know having a mentor does open you up as far as like communicating with adults and stuff like that she did give me a lot more confidence when approaching teachers and you know approaching situations that involved adults and stuff like that so it was really beneficial for me to have her here to guide me and say hey here's what you do this is what you don't do and all that good stuff <laughs> For me, the perspective that I gained, not just from being around Destiny, and, and when we started out, we were very protective of our time. We ate lunch alone and got to really know each other, but 11th and 12th grade more so, we sat at a table with, with Destiny and a few friends, and being able to hear what's going on in the lives of teens, their concerns, their, their hopes, their dreams, that's been really a wonderful gift for me. The thing I love about Destiny and getting to see her with her friends is how encouraging I get to see her be for other people. She's going to succeed in life. I know that. But I also know that she wants others to succeed and she works toward that as well. And just seeing that and knowing what a great community person member she's going to be, and she already is. I have such high hopes because these kids that I've been able to hang out with through Destiny and hanging out with Destiny, we've got good good people coming up. Hi, my name is Trish. Hi, my name is Jacy. I got involved in this program, Take Stock in Children, um, through a friend at my workplace. She was mentoring a young man and asked me if I had ever done anything like that, and I told her no, so I found out what the program was about and decided to jump in. I got involved in the program through a friend of my parents. He, um, my mother and him were talking one day and he recognized my grades and he really thought it would be a great idea for me to apply for the program. The induction night, I was very shy, I was very anxious. Um, I didn't know what was in store for my future through this program and at the time, even though I was very grateful, I did not realize how many opportunities were going to come from this program and how I was going to meet a lifelong friend that I love so dearly. The other night at the contract signing, I realized how much my life has changed through this program and how grateful I am and how I cannot wait to continue my future with this program behind me. The most rewarding part of this program is that I have a new friend and I also love her family dearly. We've all become very close. I would highly agree with that. I think that would be like the perfect example. I just love her so much and I'm so blessed that she has been given to me in my life and don't cry, <laughs> don't <too>. cry. <laughs> um, and I just am so thankful for those moments that next to me. These young people need someone that they can talk to openly. Um, you know, a lot of us have or had parents that were willing to uh, be there for us and be open, but there's just something should you don't always want to share with your parents and you just need somebody to confide in and be able to open up and, and have somebody to trust and to just be there for you. I, I would agree with that. I think having somebody on the outside to give you other advice than a biased opinion or a biased advice from your parents or a family member or even a best friend sometimes. Sometimes your friends just don't understand what you're going through and I think to have that adult figure in your life and someone you can truly trust and that you love and that you feel comfortable with and you know they're going to be there for you no matter what is such a blessing to have and so comforting to know that I was going to see her every week and that I was just going to be able to vent to her and that she wasn't going to judge me and that she was going to try her best to understand and to help me in every way possible and I think that was that was really really great. That was amazing. We laughed together. We cried, cried together. together. I fell out of the chair one time. <laughs> That's crazy. And she stuck a french fry up her nose one time. Okay. Yep. We, we really um, had a good time together. I'm sure that the ladies in the office were wondering what was going on in that room because we were laughing and giggling so yeah. much. It was great. It's always been great. In fact, we never cracked open the book that they gave us to use yeah. because we didn't need it. We, we loved each other immediately. It was just that bond. As a mentor, you're not there to know everything. You're there to be a comfort, um, to help this student to find out what they need to know. You know how to find those things out. And I've simply just been by her side for whatever she needed. And 
we just took it from there. and We've just become friends and just laughed and you know, just really bonded. I was looking for someone else to guide and lead because I had raised my daughter. And so I just gave it a chance. And when I met JC, um, I realized that, that I really liked her. We can finish each other's sentences and we can look at each other and tell if, if one of us is emotional. Um, this girl has just been amazing because every time I've met with her, she asks me first, how is your husband? How is your daughter? Before she even gives me a chance to ask her how she is. And so if you don't mentor, you're losing out. You really, it, it's good for you and it's good for the students. They just need somebody to be their friend, that's all. I think just to have somebody there to encourage you, no matter what you want to do, no matter where you are in life, to have somebody there that you know is behind you every step of the way, and that's not, they may let you fall a few times, but they're always going to be there to pick you up. I think if you don't have a mentor, seek one out, seek somebody you have a connection with, a bond with, you know right away, I can tell you that. Um, you know if they're they're the ones that are meant to be in your life and it's like another best friend it's like somebody you're just hanging out with them you're just chilling you're just having a good time with them and it's really it's not work it's not it's not hard you just sit down and you're having conversation and it's somebody to vent to and somebody to love and just somebody to have there for you and i think i think having a mentor is like one of my biggest blessings in life i really do she really just needed somebody to love her and understand her and not be judgmental of her. Um, we talked about anything and everything that could possibly come up and I just listened to her and everything works out. Um, I may have different ideas than she does, but that doesn't mean she's wrong and that doesn't mean that my ideas are correct. Uh, I just simply listened to her and got her through a lot of the things that she needed to get through. I think the biggest thing I've learned from you is to have patience and to be kind even when you don't feel like being kind. 